Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring a Matchbox Super Kings number K9, the Fire Tender. These were produced from 1973 until 1984. They're one of those sort of Thunderbirds-y style fantasy sort of vehicles. At least I don't think it was a real vehicle. It's got that futuristic sort of 70s look to it. And it's a similar style to the first video I ever did, which was the car transporter. So let's take it off the turntable and have a closer look at it. And this example is pretty beat up. The windscreen's well smashed there. Now it's missing the ladder. Almost all of the examples I've seen are missing the ladder though. The hydraulic ram casing is broken. The stickers are missing and damaged and the paint's really chipped. It's missing one of its water cannons off the top there. The base isn't actually too badly scratched. And the wheels, for some reason, are in really good condition. So there's a bit of work to be done. Let's crack on and take it apart. There's only two rivets holding it all together. A little tab at the front there. So I'll drill them out. And then I'll be able to take the base off and take it all apart. There we go. There's the base off. And the interior comes out. And then the windscreen. Then there's these little horns or lights or whatever they are. I use a slightly larger drill to drill the bottom of that water cannon out there. And then I can pull that out. There's a little steel pin holding the ladder on. So I drill that out and then I can take it off. And then I use a straight burr on my rotary tool to grind off the ends of the pins that are holding the ladder assembly together. And then I can pull them out and take this apart. So there was one pin holding on the inside of the hydraulic ram onto the ladder there and I left that on because I wasn't sure whether I was going to mask it off. The next thing I did was to take these wheels out from the suspension tabs. I found rather than drilling out the little posts holding the tabs on and then reattaching the tabs it's easier to just leave them on there as you're never going to put them back on as well as Lesney had them on there and I just mask them off so that the stripper doesn't affect them so I'll just take some masking tape and mask off the plastic suspension tabs and then I can apply some paint stripper over all of the castings and remove that old chipped paint off of them so here are all the castings after I've rinsed off the wrinkly old paint and paint stripper with some water. It's most of the paint gone off of them. Not exactly sure what percentage. Maybe Rob from Matchbox Garage would be able to take a stab at that. Anyway, they've still got a bit of paint and oxidation on them, so I'm going to give them a further clean up with wire brushes on my rotary tool.
So here we are about 10 minutes later and all of those castings are now nice and clean and shiny and just about ready for some paint. There's a couple of small things I have to do before that. The first of which is that I've decided I'm going to take this pin and hydraulic ram arm out. So it was back to my rotary tool to take the head off of that pin. And I also had to drill and tap these two rivet posts on the body of the fire tender so that I can use a couple of little screws to put it back together again later. So that's all of our castings tidied up and ready for some paint. So I started out with some white primer on the body of the fire engine and the base of the ladder there. And then I gave both of these a couple of coats of red. And they weren't decals on the original model, they were just stickers, so I've printed out some stickers on some A4 paper here. I couldn't find any examples of these online, so I had to actually recreate them myself on Photoshop. And then I just cut them out and I use a little bit of watered down PVA to glue them in place. Next I moved on to some of the plastic parts. As I mentioned before I was missing one of the water cannons and the other one was broken. Now over the past few months I've managed to collect four examples of this little toy and every one of them had broken water cannons. But luckily my good old mate Rob from Matchbox Garage had a couple that he sent over all the way from England. So there they go, I've used some hot water and caustic soda to take the chrome off of them. Then I hit them with some black primer and I've re-chromed them there with some Vallejo metal colour chrome. So hopefully they're looking up to scratch again. And here's the interior. Now most of this has been protected by the windscreen and the chrome's perfectly good so I don't want to touch that but it is missing some on the lights there so you can see I've masked them off and I just hit them with a couple of coats of the Vallejo chrome there we go I think that's looking nice and tidy so back to the remaining castings the base and the ladder So these are both going to need a fresh paint job and I hit them with a Vallejo metal colour dull aluminium. This was a bit darker than the original colour that they were but I didn't really have one that was similar to that exactly. Yeah, I think this colour's close enough, it looks pretty good. Actually then the ladder section looks nicer in the darker colour. Now, as I mentioned, I'd managed to collect four examples of this, and although none of them had complete water cannons, one of them did have a ladder. And if you've ever tried to find one of these toys, they are pretty much mostly missing the water cannons and the ladder. This ladder was missing one rung, so I've just used a little piece of styrene rod to repair it there. And the ends were a little bit scuffed up, so I gave them a quick going over with some 1200 grit sandpaper. And then I repainted the repaired rung there. Next was the windscreen. So I don't know what's happened to this one, it's been smashed by something or other. It's not going to be any repairing that, but luckily I've got a replacement here. This is in pretty mint nick, it's just a little bit scuffed. So I'm just going to give it a quick polish with some plastic polish.
And this was how it came out. I think that's looking pretty nice and shiny now. Here's the broken old hydraulic ram casing. Again, we're not going to be repairing that. So, so I've got a replacement one here that's in much better nick. There is a crack down the side of it, but you can't really see it. And all of the examples I've got are cracked. I think they'd probably nearly all be cracked if they've been used very much. And finally, here are the wheels. These are in amazingly good condition. There's barely any of the paint rubbed off of those rims. It's quite remarkable considering how rough the rest of the engine was. And the other four examples weren't as rough on top, but they have much more scuffed wheels. Anyway, these ones were still a little bit scuffed on the road bearing surfaces, so I've given them a quick polish with the plastic polish, and this will just help them to be a bit more black and shiny. So here are all the parts of our Super Kings fire tender refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. It was pretty simple to put back together but one thing to note was rather than using Marty's method with the drill press because all of these pieces are kind of small and delicate I've got a piece of tubing here which fits exactly over the pin. I've just cut off a little tiny like washer there and I'm gonna press that over the end of the pin and then use a tiny drop of my thick star blonde super glue just to hold it on there in place and being as this is going to just be a display piece that's a much tidier repair and I haven't had to bang and dent the paint job like I probably would have done a little bit trying to use a drill press. So here I'll just use the same method to attach this pin for the hydraulic ram. So just placing the little tiny washer on there and then a tiny touch of glue. It's quite a tight fit but I think the glue will make sure it's not going to come off of there. So just before we take a look at our finished restored little Super Kings fire tender, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here it is, smashed window, broken hydraulic ram, it's missing half its ladder, scuffed old paint job and worn out stickers. It's really seen a bit of action, maybe you've been to plenty of pretend fires. Now it's time to see if we can give it a bit of a refurb. And here it is, our finished, restored Matchbox Super Kings number K9 Fire Tender. So it's been stripped right down, tidied up and repainted. And then it's been put back together again with a nice new shiny windscreen. It's got a new ladder up the top, some fresh new stickers on it. It's got new water cannons that have been nicely re-chromed along with the headlights and the little horns or sirens or whatever they are up on the top there. And the wheels have even had a bit of a shine up. So there we go. I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it's looking much tidier. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you used to own one of these as a kid? They do seem to be a pretty common toy. Although it's also pretty uncommon to find them in a totally intact state. So if you've got one that's complete, you're probably pretty lucky. A massive thanks to Rob from Matchbox Garage for sending those water cannons, or squirters as he called them over, all the way from merry old England. Remember to check out his channel. 
I'd like to give a big shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. And thanks to everybody else who supports the channel just by watching the videos and giving a thumbs up and commenting. It all helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more similar stuff, remember to subscribe and click the bell. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.